Hi guys, here I am again. And this time I've got a Poundland haul. I'm really pleased with this haul. Um, it's more than I would normally spend because there are a few items in here that are absolutely not a pound, but they are still true bargains. And I think I've got some amazing things. If you like things like this, if you like hauls and unboxings and chit chat and general daftness, then please do consider sticking around, pressing subscribe, giving me a thumbs up, commenting, and becoming one of my friends. Right, so here we go. The big bag here. I started out where I quite often start out with my grandchildren. I bought them a load of books, all for a pound. So we've got, if big can, I can. I love to buy books for the kids. It's one of the things that I really, really enjoy. For my dino mad grandson, I found two dinosaur ones. Triceratops Playtime and Tyrannosaurus Bedtime. And then I got them both identical, even though the one is older than the other, because they fight otherwise. <clears throat> I got some of these Leap Ahead workbooks. This is English. Um, it's aimed at children three to four, yes, three to four. And it's, you know, it's just all the little tasks that they might do, like, you know, copying letters and finding the colours and look at each picture, what sound does it make? You know, it's, it'll be not hard for the younger one, but he'll be at a slight disadvantage, but it'll be easier for mum, because mum will be able to sit down, the boys will have a book each, or me for that matter, whoever decides to do it with them, will sit down and we'll be able to go through it page by page. They can copy each other, they can copy, you know, so it's just easier. And I never can resist, I'm in a pound to help the kids with their writing and reading and comprehension. Then I got some slightly more sensible things. I got a two pack of these scrub buds. I'm a real convert to these things. I've been buying the yellow ones, which are the um, oh, elbow grease ones, but you get one for a pound. These are two, pink and gray, and I thought they'd be great in the bathroom. I would know where they belonged because that's not a color I have in my kitchen. So um, they're microfiber on the one side and sort of scrubby on the other side so I thought it would be great for cleaning sinks and things like that in the pan. and then I got myself some more um, press and seal food freezer bags I love these I use these almost more than cling film I prefer to put the things in seal the bag up um, and they're 30 large ones so good for a pan look at this I've got so much oh I have to confess right I was so hungry <laughs> I was so hungry I've been to Poundland um, and it was getting on for sort of half a swim. I was going to feel a bit, mm, I hadn't had much breakfast. So I've eaten one of these. I got the tracker bars. I got the peanut and caramel tracker bars. There are five in here. As you can see, it's open. Because I had one while I was walking down the street. You know, my grandmother used to say, a lady never eats in the street. But I was thinking, <laughs> as I was doing it, I could visualise her saying this to me. And I thought, yeah, but a lady shouldn't faint in the street either. And I had skipped breakfast and it was now half past one. And I was beginning to feel a bit, mm, not, not the ticket. And these were lovely. What does it say? I, uh, the five oat bars, now with more peanuts. Let's see how many calories they are a bar. Because I didn't really look. I looked at the flavours. Oh, 113 calories. So that's not the lowest in the world. I don't think that's bad either. Rather that than reach for a bar of chocolate. That, you know, would do the same thing, I suppose. But not have the oats and the, and the nuts. And, the, you know, not the goodness. So I got those. Again, for the boys. What can I say? Again, I got identical. PJ Mask lunch boxes. It's just for sandwiches. They go on lots and lots of trips with their mum and dad, but it's the sort of trips where they go, um, you know, up a mountain, into a woods, you know, to a lake. They off the beaten track. They do far more of that than anything else, and they take a lot of food with them, um, and things get squashed and crushed. So I saw these. They're PJ Masks. The boys love PJ Masks. Oh, I've just dropped one. <laughs> they love PJ Masks. And I just thought these would be great. They can put their names on them, should they so require. 
put stickers on or something and make them even more personalized um, and they just open up nice little press down I thought they were fabulous so I got two of those makes it sound like the boys never stop fighting but they are at that age you know oh, I'm going to sneeze hold on <laughs> oh <laughs> they are at that age you know where um if one has something the other one has to have it it's just it oh, drives us demented so then i got some really cute things for my granddaughter you know i've had some real success with outfits from um the pound shop for her in the past and i just can't resist the prices are so so good so i started out this was yes this was the first one i saw Look how sweet this is. It's a sweatshirt, so it's thicker fabric, band around the bottom. It's got that nice fleecy inside, but look how pretty that is. And that was two pounds. You could buy the matching trousers, which were these, and they are actually trousers. They're not leggings. They've got little pockets on the back. They're like little jeans. So, so cute. Um, and these were four pounds. So that's that little set. Then I got this set, which I thought was adorable. Um, this is just a long sleeve tee. This isn't a sweatshirt. <clears throat> but this one was, again, oh, £1.50, this one. And it had little matching joggers. Um, and these were £2.50. Are they adorable? And then I also picked up because I thought this would vary out with the other ones. So if she, you know, if she makes a mess of this top, then this top can go on. This one was two pounds. It's got little foxes all over, long sleeve t-shirt. <clears throat> and I got her a sweatshirt. They had matching trousers, but not in her size. A sweatshirt with Minnie Mouse on. Um, and it says, funny mouse, Minnie Mouse. This one was more expensive, obviously, because it's um, a character. But it was like, still only four pounds. Now, the reason I love all of these is her daddy is an agricultural mechanic. He's got his own workshop. He works very, very hard. Um, and sometimes she goes and spends some time down there with her mum while her mum does the accounts. My daughter does all the bookkeeping. My son-in-law does all the work. So she wanders around the garage with daddy, mind you. But it's a pretty dirty place. And much as we love to dress her in pink and yellow and blue and, you know, and all the pretty, pretty colours, a little bit of motor oil and the outfit is finished. So these are just fabulous because look at the colours. They're navies, but with prettiness. And if you've paid £1.50 for a top or £2 for a little pair of leggings and she happens to get herself in motor oil, we don't mind so much. We, you know, we still go, oh, but it's not a disaster. Whereas if you buy them a little outfit from somewhere like Next or Marks and Spencer's or whatever, and you've paid £20 for that outfit, you do feel a little differently when she heads um, at a rate of knots for some, as I say, motor oil, grease, the general grime that a, a, a mechanic, I mean, he's an agricultural mechanic, so it's tractors as well as cars. So you can imagine it is a pretty dirty place. So I was really pleased with those. <clears throat> I then picked up some blisters. Uh, yeah, they call them blister. They're um, band-aids, as somebody told me the other day. Plasters, I would call them. But I got these in preparation. We're heading into the winter, which means going into boots and closed-in shoes. I spend, mm, what would I say, two-thirds of the year sort of barefoot or with sandals on open back sandals so that my, that my heels get quite tender and I go into the winter where you've got to start wearing clothes in and I rub blisters every year even in my best of shoes so I like to get ahead of the game so I've got some of these they cost a pound there's five in them and they're those hydrocolloid plasters so they're supposed to reduce pain and scarring it's supposed to immediately have an impact so for a pound I've got those I got myself a microfiber duster. It's only a little one, but it does extend one heck of a way. I love microfiber cleaning things. Um, I'm going in between your know, tops of doors, all that sort of thing. I thought this was great because it's only little. I do have some really, really big ones, but they're a bit of a pain to, to lug around. And with it being microfiber, it just, let me see if I can show you. <clears throat> 
whoops, it comes off. Just a little sponge thing. So you can wash it and then use it again. Whereas when I do, um, you know, my other ones, that, like I've got some feather ones and things like that, all you can really do is go outside and give them a bloody good shake, which is not quite the same. It doesn't feel as clean. And then it's back on. So I thought that was a fabulous thing. If you know me, I can't go to Pamela without my shortbread. So I'll just move on quickly from that, shall we? We'll just say no more. Thanks up for the kids, some of these. These are sunny fruit mix-ups. They love raisins, uh, little dried raisins with the children. And these ones are strawberries and sultanas. No added sugar, real fruit pieces, four snack packs for a pound. So I thought we'll give them a go and see what they make of strawberries and raisins. For the car, <laughs> after having this cold, everywhere that had tissues now does not have tissues and I've got to replenish. And I liked these ones. These are Beecham's and it says that they're scented. So, oh, hang on, let me put, they're scented, they're menthol tissues. I wonder if that means they're scented in menthol. Um, let me just open them and have a, have a little looky looky. Let's just see. Yes. Oh, that's good, actually. That would totally help clear your head. I'm really pleased with those. So there are eight packets there for a pound. We're getting there now. Again for the children, ice gems, mini bags of ice gems. My children loved these. I loved these. I remember these from parties when I was a kid. So I got them for my grandchildren. There are six packs in there. I don't know that they'll ever have had these. I really don't know whether they will. So I thought, I can't resist. I've got to get them. But I'll tell you what I did notice. Can you see the colours of the icing on the ice gems? Look how pale they are. They used to be really vibrant when I was a kid and certainly when my children were a kid. But I think along with this, you know, um, less E numbers and, you know, less interference with food, I think a lot of food colourings have become an issue and have been taken out. So they're sort of pastel now. And when I think of the screaming pink that I used to have, there isn't screaming pink in these. The world changes. I'm sure it's for the better. But sometimes I think, oh, my gosh taken the joy out of the colour of Smarties or similar. Last few things, because of those dresses, somebody suggested Wonderweb. Well, this one's called Hemingweb. If I do keep those dresses and shorten them, this will make my life a lot easier. And I had forgotten that this stuff even existed. And one of you guys put it in the comments and I thought, yes! I used to always do this to like my school trousers and things like that. A pound. Oh, how long is it? Let me just tell you now. 30 metres, so that's a lot. 30 metres. Last two things. <clears throat> For me, can you believe? The first one is a top by Pep and Co. And it was five pounds. Can you see that? I thought the colour was great. It is the softest of soft. Um, I think it'll be long sleeved when I go to wear it. It has a side, off to the side tie. Oh, not doing a very good job, am I here? Can you see? It's just so soft and I thought, even if I decide that it's not sort of nice enough to wear out, it would make a great, lounging outfit and it's you know that really pretty brown with black with odd touches of sort of um can you see that like a tealy bluey green but i mean what a price and i think it's really nice now you'll notice i sized up because i have no oh no i didn't do you know i thought i was going to size up in these and i didn't in this i hope <laughs> i hope i haven't made a mistake but i'm really really pleased with that i think that's lovely and the very last thing that I bought, I hope I sized up in these, because these have very little stretch to them. Please tell me I didn't. No, I didn't. So I may be onto a hiding for nothing of these. But some camouflage utility pants. Look at those. Aren't they fabulous? These were £12. You know, it's pound land, but they were £12. But they are beautifully, they're thick, they're strong. They're a lovely fabric. They've got a tie, a tie, turn up at the bottom. 
a nice utility pocket on the side. Can you see that? Um, got the big pockets at the front. I just thought they were gorgeous and couldn't resist. So that was the last thing I bought. I think I did really, really well. And I spent 53 pounds and 50 pence. I mean, it's bargains of the century, isn't it, really? 53 pounds for all of that. Outfits for, for my granddaughter, books, outfits for me. I mean, if you just took my things off, they're virtually 20 quid. So once again, Poundland, rocks so this is the top from poundland it's polyester so anyone out there who thinks you know oh she's a real snob she won't do polyester this is put modern polyester it is so soft it is so soft i really like this i don't know about wearing it out possibly i don't think it's too clingy anywhere love the colors this is just, oh, you know, this is so, so nice. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the tie on the hip. Um, what would it look like if I undo it? Ooh, then it becomes really long. Um, so let's bring it back up, I'll tie it again. Let's have a look. I do wear things with ties, so it's not that I'm anti-tie, if you follow me. But I just think that's really nice. And I'm really, really pleased with it because what did I say I paid for? I think it was four pounds. Let me just double check. <clears throat> what does that say, folks? <laughs> it took me that long to figure it out. But honestly, what a comfortable, comfortable thing this is. This is really, really lovely. And I love the colour. I think the colour looks cute. I mean, look, I've, where I've tied that badly now, it's folding all the time. So I'm going to have to retie it again and not give it such an extreme pull. Um, oh dear. She maybe shouldn't have undone it in the first place. But I could even, you could even sort of tuck it up. I have seen people do that. Let's just see what it looks like. If I tuck the tie only into the trousers and then fold it over. You get a sort of a little bulge, but that's actually not the end of the world, so far as I'm concerned. So that's, that's cute too. Anyway, it's a hit. So here we go with the camo trousers. 12 pounds, ladies, 12 pounds. These are fabulous. I love them, yes. Look at this. I think the fit is nice over the bum, but not too tight. There is room in the legs. I always have that situation because I do have skinny legs compared to my bottom and stomach and so on. But I like that about them because they are camo. The pockets work. The length is superb. I've just put them on with some little mules. I probably would wear a black mule. I'm not sure that this colour mule is quite the right one. Or little black booties. I just slipped on a plain black t-shirt. I'm not entirely sure about the belt. I think that might go, that might have to go, because I feel like it adds you know, something here that I, I don't really want. Um, but I am so, so pleased, can you tell? I am so, so pleased, because trousers are something I'm always looking for. Now I put it on with a black tee, because I'm keeping it really sober, but you see things like this, I always think they look cute with pink, they look cute with, it's that mixing up of this sort of hard, and so, in fact, let me try on a different colour blouse and try and show you what I'm talking about. One second. So this is what I mean. Hello, Ethel. <laughs> I'm not sure that this is exactly the right top, but you recognise this one, guys. This is the one I got from one of my um, charity shop hauls. I know, Ethel, I know I'm in your bedroom. I apologise. But if you give it a bit of a tuck, wear it loose, let the frill hang. You've got the cream. It, it makes the bottom, and you notice I've lost that belt. Not lost, got rid of that belt. But it makes it, it's the offset of the silky, very feminine, very floaty, with the quite sort of masculine 
rigid bottom. I mean, I would totally wear this just with a black t-shirt and some trainers as well. <laughs> but you know, for those people that say, oh, we're a certain age, you can't. I really think you can. I mean, put some long jewelry on, you know, that mix of hard and soft, it's like leather and lace. I just think it works. Um, you're probably all my friends now gonna go, oh, and you're deluded, you looked bloody awful. But I like it. I've put on this cream one because I liked it and I wanted to show you guys again. I still have it and I'm still wearing it. But I'm just thinking of some of the pretty soft colours that would work with this because you've got black and brown and green already in these. You've got this structure, this shape. Anyway, that's me. <laughs> that was my, um, my Poundland haul. And I think it was epic, frankly, absolutely epic. I am really, really chuffed. And I know they were 12 pounds, not a pound, but I'm only thinking about my stitch fix. What were they, 69 pounds, those trousers? And I look like a maniac. <laughs> so there we go. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're happy. And I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.